Hey Panthers fan, it's the off season and things are in turmoil right now. So I'm gonna give you the things that the team needs to do this off season to right the ship, get the team together, and get back to that Super Bowl that they so desperately, desperately, desperately need. And we're starting right now. What's up, everybody? It's Aaron Duncan here with the Necessary Blunt and Sports Talk. You guys know it's the channel. We might not tell you what you want to hear, but we're definitely going to tell you what you need to hear. And on this channel, I'll give you recap, analysis, and coverage of the best division in the NFL, the NFC South. So if you want to see more videos about the Bucks, the Panthers, the Saints, or the Falcons, go ahead that subscribe button below right now. Go ahead, hit the bell also so you get a notification whenever I drop more videos. And don't forget to give your boy a thumbs up on this video, okay? But hey, real quick in the comments below, let me know what you think the pro position of priority should be the receiver, uh, lineman to replace some of the guard they may lose, uh, the secondary. Let me know what you guys think they need to go after this offseason. All right, let's get into this offseason. Oh my goodness. Where, or where, or where do we start? Now I'm going to focus on the locker room uh, for the most part, but this is the thing that's been a question for the past probably five seasons get cam newton some weapons on the outside mainly wide receivers mainly a veteran hopefully mainly a guy that can get open one-on-one -on -one. they have this faith in devin funches i have limited faith in him he could be a solid number two and a complimentary guy but they need a big time player they need to maybe go in the draft or the free agency then they need to get a big time guy there's sammy watkins out there landry's gonna be out there um, it's going to be some decent weapons out there that they could go get and in the draft. Like, don't be satisfied with the guys that they have just because they were hurt this year. You've been, you could easily be wasting a generational quarterback's career like Cam Newton because you refuse to get him weapons on the outside. Go get this man some receivers and help him out. We saw what happened in that Saints game. The injuries that happened to them this year, the depth was in question, man. So get this man some weapons. Number two, get younger and more athletic in the secondary. Mike Adams. Oh, Kirk Coleman's getting up there. He's he's good, but he's not that big. He's not that athletic. He's a great, solid player, but he's not a playmaker back there. Mike Adams, you're okay. You had your moments this year, no doubt, but you got to get younger and got to get faster because our secondary has been the weak point. The front seven has been A1, but the secondary has constantly, constantly, constantly been the Achilles heel. And, like, once again, we have another generational player on defense and Luke Keekley do not waste his career this man deserves a ring. He plays his heart out. Get some secondary to back up that monster front seven that you have there. Get some guys that can make plays. Mainly at corner also, because corner, they don't have any playmakers. The guys play too far off. Usually they just let guys catch it and they're there to make the tackle. You never see them making plays. And if they do make plays, it's because they're lucky or they're playing too far off and the quarterback just throws it right to them. So get some athletic guys and some playmakers on the outside that can make plays one-on-one. -on -one. Now, I know it's been a while, but I hate to bring it up. You guys haven't had a playmaker at corner since Josh Norman. And, I mean, I hate to say it, but they should have re-signed this guy. Gettleman, Gettleman, Gettleman. But that's neither here nor there. Let's move on. Third, we got to find a heir apparent to the great all-time Mr. Charlotte, the mayor of Charlotte himself, Thomas Davis. He announced that he's going to retire Sad to see him go. This guy put his heart on line. He tore his ACL three times in his career, came back from it. I tore him out once, and the rehab sucks. So I can't even imagine going through three times. I probably would have quit playing football after my second ACL tear. But this guy kept coming back. He even got better with as the years gone on. Last year, he kind of weaned himself out a little bit to kind of give Shaq more time in the rotation. So you got a young linebacker that's hard hitting athletic like Shaq. You got the best player in the NFL on defense in Luke Keekley. Don't let this slip away. He told you. He's giving you a heads up that he's going to retire next year. Go get a young guy or a decent young veteran that you can bring in and that solidify that linebacking core because it's one of the best cores in the league as it stands right now. Do not let that drop off. Also, I don't know if you need to beef Shaq up and move him to TD spot, but I don't know because Shaq plays a little bit of more man coverage, so they like the versatility he has. But they got to figure out something. They got to go get somebody. They let A.J. Klein go. Um, granted, he didn't play. He played inside, but he balled out in New Orleans. They knew that was coming eventually because he had been a great player for the Panthers for a while. So they got to go get somebody to replace that linebacker uh, spot they're going to have missing next year. And the extra depth is going to help anyway down the line. 
last but definitely not least, please, 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 whoever the GM is, whether it's Herney, uh, anybody else, whatever they've been going to interview, please re-sign Andrew Norwell. He is all pro. You got to have that protection on the inside. You paid Trey Turner last year. Re-sign Andrew Norwell. I know Star Latula is up for a contract also. However, they drafted some other guys like Vernon Butler that can do the same thing that Star does. And yeah, Panthers fans are going to say, yeah, Star's not that guy. He's going to clog up the middle and free up for Luke Kuechly and all the linebackers to run around. He's not going to get all the sacks and make the plays like KK does. And I get it. But can we not get somebody else that can do the same thing and just take up space? I'm pretty sure there's cheaper space eaters out there. So I say Andrew Norwell over him because you got to protect your franchise quarterback and Cam Newton, especially on the inside where it's uber, uber important, and especially with Khalil retiring soon. So you never know what you're going to have at center, maybe Tyler Larson, but why not have two good guards and Trey Turner and Andrew Norrell right beside him to shore up that little space in the middle. And like I said, let me know what you guys think. What do you think their top priority should be on the field? I know they're missing a bunch of coaches, but let me know in the comments below what players, what positions do you think they need to focus on this offseason? And should they go to the draft or free agency for these guys? But without further ado, I'll see you next time. I'm out.